Dick Cheney claims to care about our soldiers, but he sold out Michael Spiker. And then he lied about WMDs and Saddam's alleged ties to Al-Qaeda. But now he has the stones to criticize the Democrats for wanting out of his mess. And we should take them at their word. The proof will come when it's time to provide the money and the support. We expect the House and the Senate to meet those needs on time and in full. Before I leave you, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for your commitment, not just to the principles we share, but to the ideal of active citizenship. In the audience tonight, we have entrepreneurs, engineers, doctors, writers, and educators. All of you lead busy lives and have many responsibilities of your own. And yet you make the time here and in your communities to get involved in the political process and to make your voices heard. Your efforts make a difference. You give strength to our democracy. And the success of CPAC year after year is another indicator that conservatism remains the leading intellectual and political movement in the United States. That's something all of us can be proud of, and it's a credit to each and every one of you. I'm deeply grateful to you. It's been an honor to be in your company tonight.